Hello and welcome to another piece of TechPanetic official videos. Today I'm going to talk about a move to a project called Amezi. And this project has a significant amount of support uh, from both English and uh, global community in general, and also the Russian community. It has really nice project, nice design, and also um, some unique static points that I would like to really talk about it. If I jump quickly into it, it's more of a Web3 platform that's rewarding user for activity and contribution to the ecosystem by uh, using the move to end functionality. It's 100% user owned and the developers focus more on the growing for the economy from users to users and the commission from the trading goes back to the ter treasury for the community to basically learn from mistakes that projects like step in made and make sure the tokenomics is sustainable for a long-term project and the assets for it are also used for the token to be sold to players in the open market so basically They've taken mistakes from a lot of the move to end projects, the economic problem that they have, the engagement, the active user and growth control, and taken it to the next level, basically. So they they basically um, made sure the tokenomics is sustainable. It's using the, the token that they have. They have the assets required to make sure the money flows into the economy again. They make sure they're attracting different audiences and educating them about the project. They make sure they get a lot of marketing going. And also they're raising extra funds from through advertising, partnership, physical products, and offline events. So these are what I think we're missing in a lot of move to end projects. And generally, um, I don't do a huge number of videos on them unless I feel that they have a sustainable model. And Amaze is, is definitely one of them that I feel it's quite sustainable project. And that's why I'm going to look at it. Now, if you look at the some of the unique selling points that they have, obviously one of them is the health. So if you compare it to Stepan, they've improved the gaming economy and it means it's going to work for a longer period and a better period for usage, not just a 10 minute walk because they want to make sure you're actually active and not just for a 10 minute gain of you know, some tokens. They don't have VCs. They don't have um, community VCs or, or random VCs that uh, cause problems in a lot of projects in the past. They make sure they hired a lot of influencers to, to get direct value for their marketing in terms of investment rather than doing those VC funding. And they are having most of their projects on chain, all the assets and mint and NFTs because they want to make sure... Um, there is that exclusivity in blockchain technology. And also they want to make sure that they are having a really good, good go-to-market strategy. They've got over 350 um, influencers. They have a total sum of 750 million user base from these influencers. And they have between one to three years of vesting schedule to make sure they continue to support the project long-term, not just for one time or two times. They also have an academy to teach people on how to use this project. And that's why they're going to have those push on different channels. So these are another unique selling point that they have. Their community in both um, Russian community and English community started from day one. And uh, they're doing a beta testing to make sure a lot of the people are following them. So again, these are some of the unique selling points and the missions that they have to inspire people. They have really nice design in terms of the NFT that they have. You don't see it in many projects. And they have the team of Azure Games, which is a top three mobile gaming publisher with over 1.5 billion downloads in, in gaming behind this project. And they have industry grade um, move to end and play to end partnerships. Um, when they did the application, they actually um, made a lot of videos and I'm going to share these videos on my channel to watch because obviously um, I'm doing the, the video to cover the project. But basically, if you go through the trailer, you can see uh, how you can basically use it and make money. For example, um, these guys are using it and um, they have different capability, performance, fortune, joy and durability. And depending on the attribution, they basically make an income. They have heavy focus on marketing strategy 
And I'll cover more about the level of influences that they have, but I'm more focused now on what it is. And it's the motivational fitness uh, application with, with some game five features. They're going to have their own basically metaverse. And uh, after finishing off initially with the move to end component. So they have the get fit mechanics for a long term. And then they have the business model to make users uh, actually feel being part of the project. They've done 4,000 testing for the users on um, iOS and Android. And in terms of the testing, people had to go to the, you can go, for example, if you want to their Discord and Telegram, uh, join a waiting line and you can test the application if you want or, or wait for the main net to come up uh, after you buy the NFTs, which I'm going to talk more about that as well. In terms of their token utility and I know you can go to their website as well. I have all the information, but as you know, I'm always more comfortable to, to look at the website itself. So with the gameplay, you just pick the sneakers, you choose which one you want. They have four types, ranger, hiker, coacher, and sprinter, which ranger is more one to six kilometer, hiker is four to 10, coacher is eight to 14, and sprinter is for people who are running. And they have the sneakers in the app marketplace. Once you have them on board, you have the details. So you have the quality here. You have the characteristics. Over here, you have the abrasion indicator and uniqueness that they have. You equip that and start walking and get the rewards, which is the AMT token, review how much you're making from this token. And then you can share it on your social media. Obviously, some of the token will be banned in the platform. When you're upgrading the sneaker for better performance, you're burning the token. You're losing what is being burned to reduce the inflation. You could sell some of it to BUSD, or you could mint new sneakers for the sale, which some of it goes back to the treasury. It has zero barrier on entry, so available to anyone that uh, basically owns the NFTs um, or people who can rent the assets from their friends for free to get started. So you can split the earnings later. Um, if you don't want to pay for an NFT, you rent it from a friend and then you walk and your friend makes some uh, money from it as well as you. And they also have learning. So people who don't have crypto, you can also learn how to operate it and then join Web3 because they also want to educate people on how to onboard the Web3. These are some of the sneakers that they have. And I'm going to cover that a bit more detail. So the token utility as you can see they're going to be using app marketplace you can purchase um, the nfts use it for move to earn and then use it in the in-app wallet to swap or use it for renting and use it again for the in-app now they have information about the banning mechanism but as you know i always like to look at pitch text so the token is called azy and amt azy is the governance token and it's the amazi token which is being sold now it's 1 billion total supply amt is the utility token with unlimited supply it's minted to players during the training and by participating in the leaderboards you can earn with training sessions and participating in racing in challenges and leaderboards and its token is burned and uh, when you use the S sneaker as a service when you use sneaker sockets to be unlocked when you do customization you have to pay a fee when you upgrade your gems when you level up your sneakers and when you boost the sneaker box so all of these activities contribute to burning mechanism of aft to make sure the price is sustainable az has the fixed reserve and it's used for personalization of items resetting the attributes access to the highest level and rarity items so the more higher level you are the more az you use and burn they have staking tiers for in-app discounts. You can vote on proposals for the ecosystem and you can participate in special item sales because this is the token that's um, used for the governance model. Now, they make profit, obviously, by the assets in their app that belongs to users and they charge an amount of fee. Some of that fee in profit uh, goes to the treasury for themselves and some of it goes is for burning and some of it is for buying back the token. Um, and that's how they have a revenue generation plus some offline events. So 
they have a model where everyone takes a benefit and they'll donate a portion of the income for people in sports and recreational activities and people with disabilities. Now, the NFT utility obviously is for the movement and earning mechanism. Before jumping to the token tokenomics, I would like to also quickly show you some of the design they have used for these NFTs. So as you can see, um, they have the common one, which is called white robot. They have the razor common one, black witch common, quake common, breeze on common. So these are the rarities they have. And as you can see, they have spent a significant amount of time. It's because this is only, as you can see, these designs were only focused on the ranger model. And they have all the way from common to epic level. This one being the best, obviously. Then for the hiker, they have the exact same components all the way to rare and epic. Same for sprinter. So as you can see, they have like 40 slides of designs for their NFTs because they understand that people have that relationship with their sneakers, even though they don't wear it in real life. And they want to make sure you enjoy the design that they have. Obviously, Tron is like the epic. This is probably going to make you the highest amount of token, being the epic sprinter. But I don't sprint personally, so um, I would go for the hiker, for example. But the quality of the design, as you can see, is very high. They're going to have the NFT sale and $1.4 million from the sale that they're going to have for these NFTs will be used to be added to the liquidity pool on PancakeSwap on 20th of July. So they're basically thinking of adding this liquidity into the, the pancake shop to make sure there is a sustainable token um, price increase and also people can trade comfortably. And as I said, they refuse to have early stage investment because again, they, they focus more on having the influencers that add more value rather than random VCs. Now going to my favorite part of the video, which is the tokenomics. Total token is 1 billion. Valuation for the project is $25 million, which is quite common now for move to end projects. Initial market cap is $800,000. With liquidity would be 1.5 mil. So they are adding a huge amount of liquidity on launch to make sure there's a good price um, interaction. Influencers got 8% of the total supply, which is quite high, but remember there's no VCs, all influencers. They will get a ten percent at TGE, uh, and then they have to wait for twenty four months to get the rest of it. The price for this round is uh, half price of the public sale because that's basically their seed round. But the seed is switched with the influencer to make sure they improve the pricing. Private sale is ten um, percent at TGE, and then twenty four months vesting, which is the same as the prior influencers. And that's at 16, 0 0.016, um, which is around 30% higher price. So there is 1.2 million here. So 1 million, 1.2 million here. Private sale two is 5% TGE and 2.5% over 36 months at a price of 0 0.02. And there is $400,000 here. Public sale is 20% at TGE and 13% uh, uh, over six months at 25 million valuation. And that's accounting for 600K of total raise, making sure that it's fair for everyone because 20% TGE means they get the same amount of token as influencers, but from next month, they'll get more. So if you're a flipper, you go public sale. And if you're more of an influencer and long-term investor, you go in the private one or influencer allocation. So that's the tokenomics that they have used for the project. Now, in terms of the teams and the backers that they have, they have used Sergey uh, Koshenko, who's got 5.5 million uh, followers. And he's a very, very popular actually person. He even has like his own channel on the Telegram with 167,000 subscribers. It's really huge. Their co-founder is from Azure Games. 2.5 billion total install of game. They have the Azure Drive and Goiden games. So Azure games is basically the game 
by component of Amazing and it's behind the project. And you can even check Azure games here, what they are, what games they have published previously. And here are some of the games that they have published previously for the uh, mobile phone, the downloads that they have. So quite a extensive experienced amount and meaning that they have developers. They're a top three mobile publisher at the moment. And they're more popular on Google Play, obviously, than iOS, given the nature of projects that they have. The CPO is a person who has been in many projects previously, and their CTO actually is been um, in Cryptarium, um, which is also a project that's been doing really well. It's more on the DeFi side. So they're all experienced these two in crypto side, and he is more in, um, experienced in the marketing side. Artem is more in the gaming and app side. So they've got the whole team together. Advisors are people from fintech, people again from marketing experts who are from Azure company. And they have people from Cryptarium, which I just mentioned, and PayApp. And they also have an advisor from a uh, person who was one of the paying people involved in projects like Ethereum with 25 years of experience in tech and crypto investment industry. So now in terms of the backers that they have, can have a quick look as well. They will have a partnership with CD5 and they also have partnership with Firestarter. They have partnership with Engine Starter and some of the crypto partnerships that they have is uh, different influencers, different people that you probably follow on uh, YouTube, different VCs, uh, but they're not getting VC allocation. They are more strategic partners. They have celebrities as a partner. So they have all these celebrities, which you can click on each of them and see singers, musicians, entrepreneurs, uh, rappers, YouTube influencers, bloggers. Um, Instagram celebrities, models, you know, millionaire mentor, for example, and in all different aspects of um, investment they have, YouTube channel, YouTube KOLs, and they also have the crypto side, crypto KOLs, and TikTok. So they have a significant amount of partnerships across to make sure um, the project will have a huge amount of hype because that's one of the important things, right? The pump mental is one of the important factors that you need to have for any project that's getting uh, listed on crypto. Now, in terms of the uh, roadmap, let's have a quick check at the roadmap as well. In Q1, the ideation team and the application concept was formed. Q2 engagement with bloggers and influencers acquirement happened. NFT contest was launched. Uh, Launchpad was signed. Closed beta of the app is happening right now. And now we are in Q3. There's going to be exchange listing. The app improvement will happen. Signing of the token listing will happen in July. And raffle for uh, NFT boxes will happen. Token listing on the DEX and SEX will continue to happen. So they're going to have a multiple uh, centralized exchange strategy. Then they're going to use application for the gym activities as well. They'll have new workout training uh, uh, mechanics to be rewarded with the tokens. They're going to have avatars. They're going to have NFT drops for clothing and accessories. They're going to have special NFTs that they're going to have for influencers and brands. And they're going to have the achievement system development. So this is some of the roadmap activities that they've developed in terms of the marketing and social media. That's a really huge point that they have. So just looking at, for example, on Twitter, they've got 131,000 followers. Then you come here. These are all people you can see across different platforms, Instagram, YouTube, Telegram, Twitter, TikTok, 730 million global coverage of different, and, you know, they have Russian speaking, they have English speaking, they have Asian, you know, they have Middle Eastern, across all components and followers, they have um, different people, which means 
there is going to be a huge amount of um, advertisement and publication for this project. 328 million is focused on TikTok, 300 million Instagram, 89 million YouTube, and 13 million is on Telegram and cross-functional about different industries. They have a Russian medium group, English group, YouTube channel in Russian and English, and also everything they have, Twitter, Discord, Instagram in both languages, which I'm going to put some of the links for you as well if you want to check them out. In terms of the key dates that you need to know about and some of the events and activities that they're going to have, they're going to have, I mean, you can check all of these events here, but in July 13, which is the time of recording this video, they're going to have the IGO or initial game offering IDO on Amazi. So that's going to be uh, happening now. That's why I say you need zero days. They're going to have it on CDFI and they're going to have one round in their own community and another round on Firestarter launchpad. So they're going to have a small allocation as well in Firestarter to participate. And they will also have sale of the shoe boxes for whitelist participants on the 14th. So that was the uh, and, and the event they had. And also they had an event on a whitelist giveaway with engine starter. So people who won, they can participate in the INO slash IGO for, sorry, INO, not IGO, INO for the NFTs. And they're gonna cost a hundred dollars. Then they're going to list on a centralized exchange, two of them at once. The name is going to be revealed in a few days from now, but that's going to happen 18th of July. On 21st of July, they're going to have a really huge event that I cannot talk about, but that's going to be something that drives even further pressure to buy. And they're going to have a raffle actually on the 18th of this month to having a draw of Tesla car. And people can be part of the draw if they subscribe to their channels, if they participate in this activity and buy the token on exchange. So all the detail is actually on their social media if you want to participate in it. Of course, there's a one in a million chance, but you know, you might be one of them. Now, I think the project has both fundamentals. I've tested the application and it's really nice as well as, and they're working heavily to fix any bugs and also they have good economy, they have the good marketing campaign, they have good design, they are already built and ready to go. And the fundamental factor, which is having a huge amount of marketing that I haven't seen in other uh, move to end project. So I cannot give you financial advice as usual, but I think this is a project that you want to watch. And if you have an opportunity to get in early, I highly recommend you to do so. Please make sure if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, you subscribe to my channel, you subscribe to the amazing channel, which I'm gonna put the link and also the um, Instagram and other places. And make sure you like my video, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions about this project, please come up and ask me in, in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer your queries. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative and let me know how you feel about it. And I'll make sure to see you next time.